In recent years, Iowa has faced devastating natural disasters, from flooding in 2008 to a derecho in 2020. These events highlight our community's vulnerabilities. With climate change increasing the likelihood of extreme weather, it's crucial for designers and building owners to mitigate risk. Today, we'll discuss resilient architecture, what it is and how it can protect our communities and infrastructure. I'm Jesse Bowman, Associate Principal at Newman Munson Architects. Resilient architecture isn't just about being prepared for disasters. It's a holistic approach to the designing buildings that adapt to the changing conditions, support their communities, and stand the test of time. By the end of this video, you'll understand the principles of resilient design and learn strategies to incorporate resiliency into your building project. Resilient architecture ensures buildings can prevent or recover from damage withstanding different conditions and supporting the surrounding community. It addresses both shocks, like natural disasters, and stressors, like economic, social, and environmental changes. For a building to be resilient, it should balance durability, be flexible and adaptable, and remain usable in less than ideal conditions. It should also consider the social, economic, and environmental needs of its surroundings. Designing for your local climate is fundamental. In the Midwest, this means using durable materials like reinforced concrete or laminated glass to withstand high winds and tornadoes. Other examples include staying out of the floodplain, designing for extreme heat and cold, and preparing for drought and wildfires. Consider on-site energy production systems, such as solar panels, paired with battery storage to maintain critical operations during outages. These strategies are especially valuable for community shelters and essential services. Planning for future climate change is also vital. For instance, rainwater harvesting systems can help address droughts and water shortages by reducing resilience on centralized water systems. Resilient design strengthens the local economy. Using regional materials to support local businesses, keeps more money circulating within the community, and reduces dependency on global supply chains. For example, sourcing urban lumber and other local materials reduces transportation emissions and boosts the local workforce. During disruptions like the COVID-19 pandemic, locally sourced products can offer reliable alternatives to delayed imports. Investing in your local economy creates a ripple effect. Strengthen regional industries improve funding for schools, infrastructure, and other vital services, which builds long-term economic resilience. Buildings should evolve with changing needs and functions. Practices like reducing floor plate sizes or designing for flexible layouts can extend a building's life cycle and reduce cost. Reusing existing structures is one of the most sustainable practices, reducing embodied carbon from demolition to new construction. Adaptable buildings not only address immediate needs, but also set up future occupants for success, maximizing usability over decades. Durability is essential, but repairability is equally important. Building with bolted connections allows for materials to be disassembled and reused in future projects, aligning with the circular economy principles. Using natural, durable materials like stone, wood, or masonry adds resiliency and minimizes long-term upkeep. Reviving traditional practices of repair and reuse help extend the life cycle of buildings' components, saving resources and promoting sustainability. Resilient architecture helps communities prepare for and adapt to the changing world. At Newman Munson, we integrate resiliency into every project, from using durable materials to supporting local economies. By incorporating these principles, you can create a building that endures and enriches its surroundings. To learn more about resilient design strategies, watch our video series on the Living Building Challenge and how it promotes holistic sustainability.